The word you never want to hear come out of your doctor's mouth is the word cancer. About two years ago in 2017, uh, six months before December, I started having a lot of UTIs, very, a lot of UTIs. I uh, started noticing I was having blood, uh, a pink tinge to my pee. So I'd gone on and off to urgent care um, to see what was going on. They just kept diagnosing me as uh, urinary tract infections. The last time I went was probably right before uh, Christmas. And the man told me that if it continued, I needed to come back and have a CT scan and all that done. Well, two days after Christmas, uh, went to the bathroom and it was blood red. So of course, you know, it scares, scares you. So I went to the ER that night. I was gonna go back to urgent care, but my husband was like, no, you're not gonna do that. You're going to go to the emergency room. Let's see what's going on. So I went to the emergency room. Uh, they went ahead and they did a CT scan on me. Sure enough, they found uh, a tumor. So they wanted to keep me overnight. Uh, they wanted to keep me for several days, as a matter of fact, but there, but there was no urologist on call or at the hospital. So I went to my regular doctor. He recommended me to Dr. Buchanan here in Cleveland. Uh, I was able to get in. And of course, it was tough getting in. Uh, got in two, week, two weeks later. Uh, and when I went to sit down with Dr. Buchanan, he looked, the first thing he did is he looked at me and he said, you know all tumors are cancerous. And I was like, yeah. Uh, he looked at my CT scan. He also said that tumors do not show up on a CT scan. So that's when I knew right then that this was a God thing, definitely. Uh, that he brought forth for it to be able to be seen so that I could get it taken care of. Uh, that was on a Monday, I believe, yeah, Monday. Uh, he said, we could probably do it by Friday. I said, well, let's get all this done. I took two or three days uh, from work to try to get it all arranged with my insurance and get him paid and all that. On the 26th of January, I went in for surgery. Uh, they were able to remove all the cancer before I, I say that. When I knew that I had to have the surgery and he told me it was a tumor, he told me that all tumors are cancerous. Prior to this, I had been a smoker for 40 years, uh, since the age of 16 years old. Uh, I've been praying pretty heavy into quitting. Um, so when I went in for the surgery on the 26th, uh, I quit smoking that day too. I didn't have any withdrawal, no problems whatsoever quitting smoking. I knew God had taken care of that too as well. The doctor was able to go in and completely remove the tumor that was inside, sent it off to have a biopsy. The biopsy showed that it was a high grade T1. It had not um, gone too far into the bladder wall. Uh, it was almost into the muscle, which can be really devastating. It can be really a life change. Uh, once it starts getting past the muscle, you can sit to your lymph nodes and it can really, really, really get back. It can be a very life changing because they have to remove the bladder. And that just wasn't happening. I just know that it was a wonderful thing with no doubt knowing that God was gonna help me. I knew that he was gonna help me, sure enough. He did. I haven't had any problems. No, uh, I've had six scopes since then. I did a BCG therapy, which is what they do is they put a, a, a chemical up inside of you. And it's almost like a Pac-Man guy. So it goes in there and it works with your cells and it eats up, if there is any cancerous cells in there, it eats it up. But every time I've had a scope, there is nothing there whatsoever. And every time I go in to have a scope, I know there's nothing there because God has definitely healed me and I'm very thankful that he has healed me because you just don't want to hear something like that in your life.